So welcome to Techno Dad Life and on uh, today's episode we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you what I'm using for servers and basically it's pretty much a little bit of everything. And so with that, so if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and here we go now. Okay, so where do we start? Should I get a Raspberry Pi? Should I get a professional server? Should I get use whatever I have? Well, I would say if when you're starting out, basically start out with what you just have. So as you can see here uh, in a second, I have a little bit of everything. Uh, I do have a Raspberry Pi. I have a couple of laptops. I have a real server. I have a old desktop. Uh, but what I find works the best is whatever I have and I need at the moment. So basically I started out with just an old desktop and then uh, I had other computers sitting around and so then I just added Open Media Vault to those because they weren't functioning very well as they were before. And so just experiment, you know, at the channel it says build, learn, and create. So basically if you do something you'll learn and which is actually a lot of fun and I like doing and so with that let's take a quick look and see what we have here and go from there so basically this is a laptop that I got for my wife uh, when we were dating and so it was actually used when I bought it and then it is lasted it's about nine years old uh, the thing I did different about this, this is the one where I added in the uh, extra hard drive in it. And this is actually pretty ideal. I would actually say this is my fo most favorite computer uh, to use as a server because it's portable. So I can just unplug it, take it with me everywhere as Wi-Fi. Uh, netbooks, cheap. I got this for free. Uh, I was just offered another one for free, very underpowered. Uh, to get this to work, you actually have to, what I find, if you don't want to wait forever, is use an SSD for the internal hard drive. And then add a powered external hard drive for it. So the Raspberry Pi, very similar, so hard to see, but we have the Raspberry Pi external hard drive for this Raspberry Pi instead of having a powered hard drive which I would normally suggest I'm using a SSD in this and you can do that with the Raspberry Pi will not work if you just have a normal hard drive in there though uh, my workhorse over here is the Lenovo server think server uh, this I got for used uh, for $99 on eBay. Uh, if you're going to go on eBay, look for workstation desktops. That is the easiest way to find it. So this server actually, if you uh, saw one of my old videos, I only paid $99 for it. It was brand new. Uh, it had been sitting around for a few years in a warehouse. Works perfectly. And finally, underneath the power cables here, this is another, this is an AMD machine. This is a desktop, another one that I got for free. So, which server is best? Well, basically, just use whatever you have to get started. Uh, so, I wouldn't suggest buying a new one like a Raspberry Pi just because they're so underpowered, for one thing, that uh, you'll have difficulty running different things on them. And the other thing is they are ARM based, so some of the images that say we use for Docker are not, don't have an ARM version of them. So I would actually just go with something like a used laptop because you can find those everywhere, especially 10 year old laptops people are just giving away. But once you put Open Media Vault on them, they work really well. So, so that's it for today. So I say start where you are. And as always, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you the next time and have a great day. Bye-bye.